Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, let me share my screen to begin with. Yes, yes, please. Yes, sir. Um, hello. Yes, you so can friend, minimize this. Sir. Yes. Uh, friend, good morning, everybody. Rather, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, let me, uh, first of all, let me thanks uh, to earlier speakers, Dr. Matkar, Dr. Padmavad Madam, and Dr. Lina Gahane Madam from uh, NAC. And uh, they have created wonderful platform today. Truly speaking, uh, they have made my job very, very easy. Um, uh, the one of the reasons for that is you must be knowing in cricket match, uh, if you have a good, uh, solid opening batsman, then it will be easier for the you know like the people who are the batsmen who are going to join the team and who are going to bat uh, after 30 overs. It is something of that sort. Today, like we have got a wonderful solid platform created by three speakers. And they have made my job very, very easy. Now all users and participants must be very excited to see the match of last hours. And it is my responsibility to make you happy during those last hours. Uh, friend, uh, yesterday I hope you must have enjoyed uh, the yesterday session. And uh, you must be very well today. Uh, and as, uh, as, it is, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, uh, because I, I begin with the philosophy of NAF, NAC yesterday. What are the challenges we are going to have whenever we'll be going for NAC assessment and accreditation? And then we have seen the recent uh, result trends as well. Uh, the NAC assessment and accreditation process, right from the first window till the recent uh, standing committee meeting of NAC. The main purpose was uh, main purpose of introducing you all those issues of NAC assessment and accreditation purpose is uh, the main purpose was to make you aware about this entire process and uh, you we need to know like whenever we'll be going for NAC assessment and accreditation uh, we need to know what are the challenges we are going to have and if we are ready for accepting those challenges I'm sure it's not going to be only data preparation. We are going to ensure we are going to create a quality culture and that quality culture is going to be implemented during uh, throughout the five years. This is what it was expected yesterday. Now today, since we have created platform now, I'm going to start with AQR preparation. And once again, as far as AQR preparation is concerned, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, I'm not going to be very, uh, I mean, particular about the typical format. Rather, uh, because what I believe is whatever there is guideline, you can read those, you know, like uh, various aspects. But I'm I'm here to bridge the gap between you and the NAC assess NAC guideline. I mean, whatever is not there uh, in the NAC guideline, and whatever I have understood during last ten to fifteen years through this NAC assessment and accreditation process, involving, my, involving myself in this NAC assessment and accreditation process, I'm going to share my those experiences today with you. Uh, this is going to be, uh, uh, let me, okay, okay. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, whenever you, uh, you, you would like to go for NAC assessment and accreditation, first of all, we need to start with IIQA and then we have to submit SSR and then uh, quantitative, qualitative assessment is going to be done by NAC and then we are going to be uh, rewarded or awarded by the NAC assessment grade. Once it is done, then later on every year, whatever system, whatever quality culture we have created, we have to ensure that those systems, those that quality cultures need to be continued uh, for another five years. And for that purpose, every year NAC has made it mandatory for us, for all academic institutions to submit annual quality assurance report every year. We used to be very casual earlier, but nowadays NAC is very particular there because they have made AQR format almost similar to NAC SSR format. It is almost similar, almost 90, I would say 99% similar. There are minor, you know, deviations, but most of the, you know, the aspects are going to be same AQR and NAC SSR. And therefore, whenever you are preparing your data for the current academic year, Whenever you are preparing data for current academic year, you need to be very, very genuine, very, very, very serious about the collection of data, right? So 
it it would be the responsibility of the uh, the higher educational institution to prepare the annual annual quality assurance report through iqsc so it is going to be ultimately it is going to be responsibility uh, responsibility of iqsc to prepare annual quality assurance report and what is what is basically aqr aqr is basically whatever the quality issues whatever quality initiatives nac iqsc has initiated during last academic year those those quality initiatives along with the tangible outcome i would say the tangible means the outcome which can be measured those those outcome need to be need to be collected comprehensively prepared in a structured manner and that need to be implemented on nac website as far as the uh, the duration aqr period is concerned usually you can see the june 1st of let, let us say 1718 if you are submitting your aqr report of 1718 then the duration would be the 1st of june 2017 to may 31st 2018 so whenever like it, it's all about the last academic year and therefore we need to be very very serious about the activities which we are going to implement the quality initiatives which we are going to be initiated and implemented during the entire academic year we need to be very serious about this so let us start with the uh, IQ, aqr format you can see now uh, as i mentioned earlier uh, whenever you will be uh, preparing for uh, you know like for aqar again you will have to follow the same process as if like you are submitting ssr jaisa hum ssr submission karne ke liye apne aap ko pure institute ko hum taiyar karte usi 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 uh, like i mean like you need to follow the same analogy same methodology for collection of data collation of data interpretation of data and writing of the quality to matrix exactly the same methodology you should you should adopt so the first aspect is going to be the details of your institution i'm not going to read those uh, i mean details you can see the uh, i mean those details through guideline i will have to feed those details of your institution second aspect is institutional status like what is the like whether if you are a uh, college then whether it is affiliate which which uh, like name of the college name of the affiliating universities uh, location financial status you know and the name of the iqc coordinators and all those details you will have to submit on the second page as far as the third page is concerned you will have to give your website you need to give you you because as a, as 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 many speaker have mentioned whatever you are mentioning in your aqar or ssr that need to be kept on your website official website and therefore whatever data you will be creating under aqar that data need to be placed at very i mean at a very structured in a structured manner at your website and that website link has to be given and similarly like uh, it is going to be mandatory for everybody nowadays to prepare academic calendar so you need to provide this like whether you have prepared academic calendar and uh, if it is there you have to give the web link of your academic calendar as well and the next is acc accreditation details like if you are going through the first cycle then you need not mention anything but if you are going to second or third cycle you need to mention what kind of when you have accredited it what kind of grade you have got what was your cgpa what is the validity period all those details you have to mention here and then they top obviously this is what it is very very important iqsc is going to be very iqsc is going to play very important role so therefore establishment of iqsc you need, need to be given an internal quality assurance system and most important here you can see the quality initiatives by iqsc during the year for promoting quality culture this is very very important now whenever we are saying quality initiative for the sake of example i have quoted some of the examples like but let me tell you my friend uh i i just cannot quote all the examples of quality initiatives you know like but what what you should do some of the examples are let me read this first and then i will i will summarize so feedback uh, from all the stakeholders this is going to be one of the very very uh, quality very important quality initiative the way in which you are going to collect the feedback the method which you are going to adopt for the analysis of feedback and then action taken and implementation of those action initiated by the head of the institution that is going to play a very important role as far as the i, I will elaborate this more while going through criteria 2 and then academic and administrative audit apart from because nac itself is one of the audit nac accreditation itself is one of the audit but it is going to be very very comprehensive uh, but before that every year because uh, although although we are submitting aqr every year but nac is not going to send us uh, assessment grade of aqr right uh, nac is going to evaluate that they are going to send the queries we have to uh, you know like justify those queries uh, uh, during stipulated period of time but we are not going to get any grade 
triple a academic and administrative audit is going to provide some uh, some sort of internal and extra because you can have the internal audit but being, uh, that can be initiated within the institution and you can have the external audit as well right that that you can appoint some external members from other universities or colleges and you can get the audit done administrative as well as academic audit and then you can identify what are the pitfalls what are your strength i mean all this is all like identification of your weaknesses and strength so once you know your strength you will be able to capitalize on strength once you know your weaknesses you will be able to address those weaknesses and so as i mentioned earlier once you know weaknesses there should be two different kind of plannings like short term and long term planning to eradicate those weaknesses so for that purpose you need to get ourselves evaluated through triple a and then uh, nowadays government uh, government of india has made mandatory for all the institution to go through nirf so nirf iso certification and those who are from like professional uh, colleges like engineering and uh, management colleges they need to go for nba as well implementation of ob could be one of the very important initiative nowadays nag is also asking in criteria 2 they are ask criteria 1 they are asking whether you have you are following outcome based education curriculum and criteria 2 they will be asking us what kind of like uh, attainment policies you have adopted and what kind of corrective measures you have undertaken so this implementation unless you have the implementation of obe in your institution you won't be able to defend those uh, address those uh, questions from criteria 2 and therefore implementation of obe could be one of the quality initiative similarly the development of ecosystem for innovation as i mentioned yesterday earlier the invention which was novel which was we we used to refer it as a innovation but nowadays is not only novel Of, because we need to go beyond that because the invention need to be novel and moreover it need to be commercially viable then only it can be referred as innovation and therefore a, a, a very comprehensive ecosystem need to be developed for that purpose you need to you, you, know, you know like department wise uh, some some ideation camp need to be organized as i mentioned yesterday you need to, you, you need to encourage your undergraduate student you need to encourage your postgraduate student you need to encourage your faculty members young faculty members senior faculty members so that they will come up with some innovative ideas so these you know, innovative ideas could be they will be able to uh, you know like uh, Uh, validate those ideas and they can they will be able to convert those ideas idea into the commercially viable product for that purpose we need to create uh, ecosystem so that could be one of the quality initiative similarly whenever we are talking about the criteria 1 2 3 like uh, curricular aspect teaching learning and evaluation and research innovation and you know extension unless you have a state of that facilities with you you won't be able to address those challenges in criteria uh, which you are going to have in criteria 1 2 3 and therefore creation of state of that facilities to you know like to implement the initiatives which you have initiated in Uh, uh, criteria one, two, and three need to be there. So that could be another quality initiative. Uh, from criteria five, capability enhancement scheme. Like in case of student support and progression, again there are many quality initiatives you can initiate during uh, uh, current academic year. But one of the very critical, very crucial quality initiative would be the initiation of capability enhancement scheme. because uh, just now uh, dr lena gahane madam mentioned that whatever graduate we are producing nowadays they are not they are not unfortunately they are not having adequate skills so that they are employable or they can become entrepreneur so those those missing lacking of skills missing skills need to be imparted and therefore we need to have some capability enhancement scheme so that those lacking skills can be imparted and student can be you know like uh, can be employable or they can start their own inter- enterprise and as far as criteria 6 is concerned e governance because nowadays because e governance is going to play very very important role you can see now covid 19 pandemic has made everybody paralyzed you can see unless we have the e governance status e governance facility with us we will not be able to you know like have the effective implementation and therefore the e governance is going to play very very important role so these are some of the quality initiatives i thought i should uh, mention here in print of you but there are whenever you are talking about quality initiative you need to see all the criteria you see what what different you can do what innovative you can do for the for the benefit of your important stakeholder student right so whatever you will be doing for benefit of your student are going to be your quality initiative during those academic year next would be uh, you are going to you have to provide what kind of funding uh, you got from various funding agencies 
uh, state government, central government, uh, and all those, right? And then you have to give all those details here. And then whether IQAC, uh, you have uh, formulated IQAC as per the latest that, that guidelines that you need to mention. You have to upload the latest notification and then number of IQAC meetings said. This is again very, very important because we have seen, as I mentioned yesterday also, whenever we are visiting many universities and colleges in the capacity of NAC PAT member, we have seen the people are not that much, uh, you know, people are very casual about their uh, what they are doing. Although they are doing, but they, they, are, they are very casual in keeping the records of what they are doing and therefore whatever meetings you are conducting you need to have the meeting notification systematic very comprehensive record of meeting notification meeting agenda then meeting minutes and then later on action taken also because that is also equally important simply organization of meeting conduction of meeting preparing the draft i mean the minutes of the meeting is not going to serve the purpose once you prepare the minutes of the meeting you need to prepare the action action taken what kind of action you have initiated i mean yeah but of course iqac is recommending body you are you you are going to recommend uh, those initiatives to your higher authority but you need to see like how your higher authority how the head of your institution is going to implement those initiatives those recommendations which you have recommended so that need to be you know made that the very comprehensive document need to be made need to be created right in the beginning and then that need to be made available on the uh, university uh, your institution website and then whether iqc receives some funding because there there will be like you can have funding from nag for organization of some workshop but apart from that you can uh, you can identify some philanthropists like some industries under csr fund you can you can uh, you can have some funding for uh, initiation of some uh, you know quality initiatives like for example you would like to establish state of the art facilities in one of the uh, one of the uh, department of your university or you you want to create a research center for for that purpose you would like to have some funding from uh, some industry under csr so everything need to be rooted through iqac what is happening in the most of the institution like uh, nothing is like as i mentioned yesterday iqac is meant only for truly speaking actually iqac kis liye banaya jata hai iqac need to be there to prepare quality initiatives get those quality initiatives implemented through proper authorities of the institution lekin kya hota hai iqac is meant apart from aisa to hota hi nahi kabhi ye ye ideally aisa hona chahiye लेकिन ऐसा बिल्कुल होता नहीं है ये सब काम बाकी लोग करते रहते हैं आईक्यूएसी को बोलिए आईक्यूएसी मेन ओनली फॉर डेटा कलेक्शन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एक्यूआर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ आईक्यू एन एस एस आर नो वट आई मीन टू से इज वट एवर एक्टिविटीज यू आर गोइंग टू इनिशिएट इन यूर इंस्टीट्यूशन दो एक्टिविटीज नीड टू बी रूटेड थ्रू आई क्यू एस वट एवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉन्फ्रेंसेज वर्कशॉप यू नो लाइक रिविजन ऑफ द करिकुलम और राइट फ्रॉम क्राइटेरिया वन टू क्राइटेरिया सेवन आप देखिए वन टू सेवन क्राइटेरिया अगर आप देखोगे तो इंस्टीट्यूशन में उसके अलावा कुछ बचता ही नहीं है तो वो अगर करना है आईक्यूएसी में इंस्टीट्यूट में दैट नीड टू बी रूटेड थ्रू आई क्यू एस सी ओनली ओके and then uh, last point from this uh, section a is going to be significant contribution made by iqc during current year this is very very important whenever we are saying significant contribution because what i see what i observed truly speaking in most of the colleges whenever the iqc coordinator or iqc director is making presentation it is just a replica of the presentation which is being uh, made by head of the institution matlab college ka agar example lu to principal presentation karenge wohi claim IQC coordinator bhi karte hai and the same thing is true with universities as well but no absolutely not IQC should very like whenever you are going to make a presentation in front of NAC PA team you need to be very focused about what kind of quality initiative you have initiated and this is you can see significant contribution made by IQC and then if you look at the significant contribution they have made maximum five bullet okay fine lekin aap kya kar sakte five bullet hai theek hai panch criteria le lijiye aap criteria one se aap ek pick kariye देखिए कि आप आपने क्या इनोवेटिवली सिग्निफिकेंटली क्या किया लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इन क्राइटेरिया वन यू कैन सी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एकेडमिक फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी यू हैव करिकुलम एनरिचमेंट फिक्स प्रोसेस करिकुलम डिजाइनिंग प्लानिंग एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन ये सब एरिया में आपने कहा सबसे बेटर काम किया दैट कुड बी यूर लाइक सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सेम थिंग इज ट्रू विथ क्राइटेरिया टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन रिलेटेड टीचिंग लर्निंग इवेल्यूशन आप देखिए स्टूडेंट एनरोलमेंट टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस एग्जामिनेशन रिफॉर्म टीचर प्रोफाइल यहाँ पर आपका बेटर सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन क्या है यू आर इंडिफाइन फुड इट हियर Similarly, contribution related to research innovation extension. आप देखिए कि promotion of research में देखिए आपने कुछ 
हट के किया क्या मोबलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज फॉर रिसर्च कंसल्टेंसी पब्लिकेशन पब्लिकेशन आई मीन bringing uh, funding and uh, all that you need to see like what con uh, significant uh, contribution you have during last academic year and then contribution related to infrastructure aap dekhiye ki aapne physical facilities in uh, jo criteria 1 2 3 mein jo bhi aapne pravdhan kiya wo implementation ke liye jo infrastructure aapko chahiye kya aapne wo uh, create kar sake aap during last uh, uh, last year last academic year wo aap dekhiye library enrichment dekhiye it infrastructure dekhiye uh, you need to see like what significant contribution you have during last academic year and similarly student support and progression aap dekhiye ki student support aapne kuch scholarship diye kya student ko participation student ka kaisa hai unka progression acha hai kya progression means jaise ki ek speaker ne bataya ki unfortunately we don't have record of progression the reason yeah, this is true in most of the colleges they don't have record of student progression like the reason is like unfortunately in most of the institution we don't have structured mechanism develop for keeping the data of student progression तो हम कब जागेंगे कब तक सोते रहेंगे वी नीड टू क्रिएट सम यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ स्ट्रक्चर मैकेनिज्म फॉर क्रिएशन ऑफ डेटा फॉर स्टूडेंट प्रोग्रेशन एज वेल एज प्लेसमेंट मैं तो नैक आई विल आई विल लाइक टू थैंक नैक बिकॉज अर्ली नैक पूछा करती थी कि आपने इन कैंपस प्लेसमेंट कितने की मतलब आपका जो इन कैंपस जो कैंपस होते थे मतलब कंपनीज को जो इन्वाइट करते थे नाउ दे स्टार्टेड आस्किंग ऑफ कैंपस प्लेसमेंट एज वेल so in campus means like whenever you are inviting you can invite companies in your institution sometime aisa ho sakta ho sakta hai ki aap agar kisi rural college mein ho to aapke paas company na aaye wo ho sakta hai then what you need we can do of course you need to try you need to you know like create that's why i said demand ratio ko agar aapko badhana hai to aapka program academic programs ko aapko acha banana padega theek hai academic program aapke hath mein nahi hai teaching learning process aap effective banaiye That is in your hand. Syllabus designing आपके हाथ में नहीं है वो यूनिवर्सिटी करेगा बट टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस तो आप इफेक्टिव बना सकते हो दैट यू कैन डू एंड अट्रैक्ट द स्टूडेंट डिमांड रेशियो आपको बढ़ सकता है तो वैसे ही आपका प्लेसमेंट भी वैसा ही आपको अगर डिमांड नहीं है तो प्लेसमेंट भी अच्छा नहीं होगा तो अगर प्लेसमेंट आपके पास कोई कंपनी नहीं आ रही है आपके कैंपस में फाइन यू आइडेंटिफाई कंपनीज यू यू अप्रोच दैम यू गो देयर एंड यू कैन यू ट्राई टू एंश्योर दैट यूर स्टूडेंट आर बिंग प्लेस सो थैंक टू नैक that they have now started asking in campus as well as off campus placement so these are some of the uh, significant contribution of iqsc which this, this is these are some of the examples i have given but aap isse bhi aage ja sakte ho just main example ke taur pe aapke samne rakha hai and then uh, plan of action chakor by iqsc in the beginning of academic year ye main yahan par batana chahunga ki zyada tar iqsc mein hota nahi hai होना कैसे चाहिए बताओ आपको कि हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी में या कॉलेज में जो स्टेक होल्डर्स है वट आईक्यूसी शुड डू वट शुड बी प्लान देखिए कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन तो तब होगा सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन आप एट द एंड ऑफ एकेडमिक ईयर आप देखोगे लेकिन आपको प्लान तो पहले करना पड़ेगा ना तो पहले क्या करना चाहिए आईक्यूसी ने एवरी एवरी ईयर राइट इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ ईच एकेडमिक ईयर आई क्यू एस सी शुड कंडक्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वट आई क्यू सी शुड डू आई क्यू एस शुड है सेपरेट मीटिंग विद स्टूडेंट्स undergraduate student postgraduate student you can segregate aap undergraduate student ke sath baat kariye postgraduates ke sath baat kariye and then research scholar ke sath baat kariye aap you can just have interaction with them uh, you know ask, allow them to speak as much as they can aap bolne dijiye unko suniye unko kyunki aap sunenge nahi to kya hoga jab nag pe team aayegi tab uh, matlab uh, आपका बाड़ा भोन करेगी तो वट यू नीड टू डू इज आपको आपको उनको सुनना है इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ एकेडमिक ईयर आप सुनिए एंड देन यू कैन आस्क क्वेश्चन लाइक जो करिकुलम आपने उनके लिए किया है जो डिजाइन किया है कुछ बच्चे पिछले साल के होंगे कुछ फ्रेशर्स होंगे आप प्रेशर को पूछ सकते हो कि वट काइंड ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन दे हाउ रिगार्डिंग टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस करिकुलम रिसर्च इनोवेशन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट एंड ऑल दो फर्स्ट फाइव क्राइटेरिया आप पूछ सकते हो उनको वट आर देर एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड दो आर इन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड ईयर उनको पूछ सकते हैं कि पिछले साल जो आपने किया उसका फीडबैक क्या है वो क्या चाहते हैं बिकॉज फीडबैक प्रोसेस हमारे पास है लेकिन फीडबैक प्रोसेस में बहुत बार होता है कि बच्चे उतना सीरियस नहीं होते कभी कभी ऐसा दे आर कैजुअल या तो कभी कभी डर के मारे वो सही फीडबैक दे नहीं सकते तो यू कैन आज देम टू स्पीक एज मच एज दे कैन डोंट रिकॉर्ड दैट मीटिंग ओके सो दैट इट विल बी इजियर फॉर यू टू यू नो आइडेंटिफाई द इश्यूज फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट कैटेगरी एंड देन सेम मीटिंग यू शुड हैव विद द टीचिंग फ्रेटर्निटी आपके जितने भी टीचर्स हैं उनके साथ आप मीटिंग लीजिए एंड सिमिलरली विद नॉन टीचिंग सो वंस यू हैव मीटिंग्स विद दोज थ्री डिफरेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स आपको डेटा मिलेगा ऑन द बेस ऑफ दैट यू प्रिपेयर द सिस्टमेटिक प्लान आईक्यूसी का जो इंटरनल कमिटी होगा मैं आईक्यूसी एडवाइजरी कमेटी की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ इंटरनल कमेटी जो क्राइटेरिया वाइज जो कमेटी बनाते हैं ना वहां पर आप ये डेटा लेकर इस सिस्टमेटिक कॉम्प्रेसिव प्लान बनाइए 
and then that plan need to be discussed with your uh, uh, IQSC advisory body. You discuss it, get it dissolved, and then uh, start implementing. Through, of course, you have to prepare the recommendation. The recommendation need to be submitted to your uh, authority, and then through authority you can start implementing. So this kind of plan, this kind of action plan, you need to be, you need to check out right in the beginning. Yeah, beginning ko, and then similar kind of interaction you need to have. Again at the end, the promises you have made, the promises you have you have to You need to be very honest and dedicated. The promises you have made, the promises you have at the end of the semester or at the end of the year, again you need to face the students, you need to face the teachers, you need to face the uh, you know, like non-teaching staff. The promises you have made, the promises you have made. If you do not, then you will tell why you have not made. Okay, and then you can take the again feedback. So that kind of collection of, you know, uh, data is going to be very, very important for you, for IQC to prepare the action plan for next academic year. And then whether AQR was placed before statutory body that you need to mention. And then similarly, whether NAC or any other accredited body visited IQC interacted with uh, access of functioning so that if it is there, you can have, you can put, put it here. Whether institutional data submit, this is mandatory now. AISH ko data submit karna mandatory hai. Uh, aapke paas management information system hai kya? This is not mandatory, but if you have MIS, then obviously the things would become very very uh, easy for you. Uske liye aapko find it words mein likhna hai ki ye MIS aapke paas hai. Agar hai to aapne in what way this MIS is going to be uh, was useful for you? Because if you have a management information system, you have to have data every time the data is going to be available. Jo mein, jo data, jo, jo, jo issues, jo problems, jo input collection ki mein baat kar raha tha, that input is going to be always available with you. Jab aap maan lo, आप नेक्स्ट ईयर बच्चों के सामने जा रहे हो पिछले साल आपने क्या किया था क्या एश्योरेंस आपके क्या कमिटमेंट आपके बच्चों के साथ थी बच्चों ने क्या क्या पूछा था एवरी एवरी डेटा इज गोइंग टू बी देयर अवेलेबल फॉर योर रेफरेंस दिस इज दिस इज जस्ट इन रेफरेंस टू द स्टूडेंट इंटरेक्शन uh, I mean, in all the processes of the university, if you are having MIS with you, the things are going to be easier for you to prepare your systematic plan and get it implemented. And therefore, you have to prepare this in finite words. Uh, finite words, I want to tell you that sometimes we have a lot of attention to people. How do we write in finite words? We have to write a lot of words. Fine, no issue. What do you can do? In one way, because our university has started the one way, we have seen that uh, we, the, we don't have any, I mean, NAC don't have any provision to upload the, uh, the documents, uh, supporting documents. But what can we do there? Like when you submit the one way, you can submit the one way, you can submit the one way, you can the Excel sheet. You can the link in the Okay, that link will go to your, university, your website. Your institution website. वहाँ पर आप जो चाहे वो लिख सकते हैं। ये जो find it work का जो मामला है ना, यहाँ पर आप find it में सीमित रखिए अपने आप को। लेकिन आपको लगता है कि आपके पास बहुत कुछ है लिखने के लिए जो आप find it work में convert नहीं कर पा रहे हैं। Okay, fine. You prepare that draft, put it on your website. You can ask like whenever NACP team is going to come to your university or your institution, they are always going to visit your your institution. वो देखेंगे आपका institute का website देखेंगे। अगर वहाँ पर ये जो find it work जो आप जो कुछ बहुत कुछ आपने किया जो आप लिख नहीं पाए वहाँ पर आप elaboratively लिखिए so that the team can go through it and they will be able to they will be happy to see that uh, uh, much more things are happening in your institution than what you have written in your SSR so this is what this issue can be uh, addressed so that was part A now part B is going to be very important so uh, curriculum planning and implementation फिर से मैं बताऊँ कि बहुत ज़्यादा structured वैसे मैं नहीं जाऊँगा क्योंकि जो uh, guideline में हो मैं नहीं बताने वाला हूँ जो नहीं है that I am going to mention so the first of all institution plan institution has the mechanism for well planned curriculum delivery uh, and documentation right so the delivery uh, and documentation is very very important so whether you have a wonderful effective plan implementation of curriculum that is going to be very very important आपको क्या करना है यहाँ पर final verse में क्या क्या लिखना है मैंने कुछ bullet point यहाँ पर दिए हैं वो एग्जांपल के तौर पे आपको हेल्प करेंगे कि आपको लिखते समय आपको क्या क्या करना है जैसे कि इसमें क्या होना चाहिए आपका विजन मिशन रिफ्लेक्ट होना चाहिए क्योंकि जब हम करिकुलम डिलीवरी की बात करते हैं हमारे विजन मिशन से बिकॉज़ व्हाट एवर करिकुलम डिलीवरी व्हाट एवर टीचिंग पेडागॉजी यू आर गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज और इंप्लीमेंट दैट नीड टू बी वेल अलाइन विद योर विजन मिशन प्लान सो आपका विजन मिशन क्या है 
आपका डिपार्टमेंट का विजन मिशन क्या है उसका इंस्टीट्यूशन वैल्यूज और विजन मिशन आपका डिपार्टमेंट का जो विजन मिशन है वेदर इट इज अलाइन विद योर इंस्टीट्यूशनल विजन मिशन एंड कोर वैल्यूज दैट नीड टू मेंशन वेरी ब्रीफली ओके नॉट मतलब यहाँ पर बहुत ज्यादा ऐसे नहीं लिखना है लेकिन वेरी ब्रीफली आपको लिखना है देन यू कैन मेंशन अबाउट द करिकुलम करिकुलम डेलीवरी प्लान आप कैसे करते हैं जैसे कि आप जैसे एग्जांपल के तौर पे दिया मैंने कि आप यू कैन मेंशन अबाउट द डिपार्टमेंट लेवल मीटिंग्स एंड देन एकेडमिक कैलेंडर्स एंड देन जब डिपार्टमेंट लेवल मीटिंग आप करोगे तो आप टीचर टीचर इज गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर लेसन प्लान देखिए कैसा है ना अनफॉर्चुनेटली नाउट इज पहले एक, एक समय था कि एवरी टीचर यूज टू हैव इज हिज और हर ओन नोट्स बिफोर ही एंटर इनटू द क्लासरूम मानता हूं मैं कि तब आईसीटी नहीं था अभी सिंस वी हैव गॉट नाउ आईसीटी वेल इक्विप्ड आईसीटी फैसिलिटीज वी हैव देयर इज लॉट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर टेक्नोलॉजी वी नीड डोंट नीड टू हैव दोस यू नो नोट्स विद अस स्टिल लेट मी टेल यू जब आप क्लास में जाओगे अपना प्लान अगर बना के जाओगे आप तो आई एम श्योर यू आर गोइंग टू बी मोर इफेक्टिव टीचर This is what it is expected. Yahan par whether the teachers are making their teaching plans or not throughout the year, so that need to be so that plan need to be discussed in HOD meeting, okay? And then uh, uh, in HOD meeting, me ham hamare jo teaching method jo hai, what kind of teaching pedagogy we are we are going to adopt? That need to be mentioned here. Whether field visit, exhibitions. पार्टिसिपेटिव लर्निंग ग्रुप डिस्कशन कोऑपरेटिव लर्निंग आप क्या जो जो भी करते रिमेडियल टीचिंग वट एवर यू आर डूइंग दैट नीड टू बी मैं इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वालिटी ड्राम एंड सिमिलरली वट कैंड ऑफ आई सी टी बेस्ट टीचिंग लर्निंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर यू हैव फॉर द फॉर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस देन ट्रेनिंग ऑफ ट्रेनर फैसिटिविटी लाइक फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम ऑफ टीचर के लिए बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट यूर टीचिंग टीचिंग लर्निंग प्लान टू बी मोर इफेक्टिव यू योर टीचर नीड टू बी वेल ट्रेन सो उसके लिए आप क्या करते हो एंड देन वेदर यू हैव मैकेनिज्म फॉर रेगुलर रिव्यू of whatever you are doing whether you have mechanism for regular review so all these things need to be mentioned in 500 words and then uh, this is certificate diploma courses introduced during last academic year yahan par maine kal bhi bataya kisi ek student kisi ek participant mein sawal kiya tha abna ki madam bhi yahan par aaj hai wo bhi sun rahi hongi uh, main bataun ki uh, yahan par there are lot of confusion there are two uh, like as per a diploma and certificate courses are concerned there are two ways one is like you can have the certificate and diploma courses approved by the university approved by the university jo bhi aapka hai you can approve get it approved by university second option is like because university approval takes its own time to aap mera ye kehna hai ki you just have the proposal submit it to the university but don't wait for the university approval you can start because it is going to be self financed basis right the university is not going to provide you any honorarium sorry any 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 financial assistance of course certification can be done at university level that's one way if you are having university approved courses but if it is not certification can be done at your respective institute level as well to wo certificate aap aapke level ka banaiye aapke institution level ke bhi aap certificate aap bana sakte ho but whenever you are preparing your any certificate or diploma courses you need to ensure value addition ye aapko dekhna hai ki whether you are able to do some sort of value addition agar wo aap nahi kar paye to ye certificate ye courses ka koi matlab nahi hoga मोर ओवर आपको ये भी इंश्योर करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि यहाँ पर मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग है कुछ लोगों को कि ये सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स पैसा कमाने के लिए है क्योंकि मैं सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स में शुरू कर रहा हूँ एंड दे आर एनरोलिंग स्टूडेंट आउटसाइड नो बिकॉज हियर व्हाट इज एक्सपेक्टेड जो मेरे पास जो स्टूडेंट ऑलरेडी एनरोल है उनका वैल्यू एडिशन के लिए वट आई एम डूइंग so these certificates and diploma courses are meant for those students who are already employed to so, unka participation isme bada aap bahar ke bhi le sakte ho but the student which are already enrolled for different courses those course uh, student need to be enrolled here as well and then you can see here focus on employability entrepreneurship yahan par particular diya hua hai ki skill development aapko jab certificate course ki baat aap kar rahe ho aapko ensure karna padega ki jo skills which are lagging जैसे कि लैकिंग जैसे कि मैं बता रहा हूँ ना कि जो आपके रेगुलर करिकुलम में जो स्किल आप इम्पार्ट करना चाहते हैं लेकिन यूनिवर्सिटी के करिकुलम में सम फॉर वन और अदर रीजन वो है नहीं सो वट यू कैन डू यू कैन प्रोवाइड दिस कैंड ऑफ सर्टिफिकेट एंड कोर्सेज एंड देन यू कैन फोकस ऑन दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी एंड एंटरप्रेनरशिप लाइक ये करने के बाद उस, उसकी एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी बढ़ सकती है स्टूडेंट की ये करने के बाद वो एंटरप्रेनर अपना खुद का एंटरप्राइज शुरू कर सकता है जो लैकिंग स्किल की बात जो हो रही है दैट स्किल्स कैन बी इम्पॉर्टेड एडिशनल स्किल्स कुड बी इम्पॉर्टेड दैट नीड टू बी मेंशन हियर एंड देन न्यू प्रोग्राम कोर्सेस इंट्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग लास्ट एकेडमिक ईयर यहाँ पर भी काफी मतलब लोगों को ऐसा लगता है कि एवरी ईयर के हम नए प्रोग्राम शुरू करेंगे क्या यस क्योंकि दिस इज द डिमांड डिमांड ऑफ द अवर क्योंकि आप अगर 
देखिए कैसा है ना ये पांच साल का डेटा होगा आपको एक ही बार एक साल का होगा लेकिन एक एक साल तो पांच साल बनेंगे ना आप अगर सोचेंगे कि नहीं नहीं इस साल नहीं होगा इस साल नहीं होगा इस साल नहीं होगा ऐसा करते करते आपके पांच साल निकल जाएंगे My suggestion would be every institution should ensure that at least one new program is being initiated during each academic year. Why? Because you will see that the new development is what is happening. न्यू एरियाज क्या इमर्ज हो रहे अकॉर्डिंगली यू नीड टू इनिशियट न्यू प्रोग्राम सिमिलरली इन एक्सिटिंग एक्सिस्टिंग प्रोग्राम यू नीड टू एड सम न्यू कोर्सेज सो इट इज नॉट ओनली न्यू प्रोग्राम न्यू कोर्सेज एज वेल जो आपका जैसे कि मान दो मेरा एम एस सी फिजिक्स प्रोग्राम है ऑलरेडी फिफ्टीन कोर्सेज है वट आई कैन डू आई कैन एड सम न्यू कोर्सेज आई कैन रिमूव सम ओल्ड कोर्सेज आई कैन न्यू सम I can add some new courses. That is that should be a continuous process. ये हर साल ये सब ये activities होनी चाहिए. अगर नहीं होगी, तो I'm sure you are you are going to have a lot of problems. मैं डराना नहीं चाहता, लेकिन ये challenges ही हमें समझना पड़ेगा. Next CBCS का भी कल मैंने already बताया आपको कि आप फिर से repeat नहीं करूँगा. CBCS की कुछ issues हैं, but whatever. You cannot do anything for that. CBCS नहीं elective है आपके पास. मान लो कभी कभी ऐसा है कि CBCS नहीं, but elective options हैं. वो भी ऑप्शन यहाँ पर है सीबीसीएस है तो आप लिख सकते हो कि कब आप अगर ऑलरेडी इंप्लीमेंट कर रहे हो तो आप लिख सकते हो कि पिछले दो तीन साल से पांच साल से दस साल से सीबीसीएस इंप्लीमेंट कर रहे हो एंड इफ यू आर हैविंग इलेक्टिव कोर्स नॉट यू डोंट हैव सीबीसीएस यू कैन मेंशन इलेक्टिव कोर्स एज वेल एंड दिस इज वेयर द स्टूडेंट एनरोल इन सर्टिफिकेट डिप्लोम कोर्सेज इंट्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग ईयर मतलब जो कोर्सेज जो आपने पिछले पेज पे जो आपने देखा कि जो नए कोर्सेज सर्टिफिकेट डिप्लोमा कोर्सेज आपने इनिशियट किए वहां पर आपके जो एनरोल स्टूडेंट है उनका एनरोलमेंट कैसा है दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू नीड टू इंश्योर करिकुलम एनरिचमेंट की बात मैं कल कल मैंने ऑलरेडी कल आपको बताया था मैंने एनरिचमेंट की बात जब आती है Uh, कुछ कुछ मैंने बताया था आपको जैसे कि एनवायरमेंट uh, है सस्टेनेबिलिटी है प्रोफेशनल इथिक्स है ये सब कोर्सेज जो है इम्प्लीमेंट आपको खाली वन कोर्स फॉर वन क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ स्टूडेंट नो आपको इंश्योर करना पड़ेगा जैसे कल मैंने आपको एग्जांपल बताया था कि ऐसे कोर्सेज यू कैन मेक इट मैंडेटरी जैसे कि हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी ने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का दो क्रेड का कोर्स मैंडेटरी कर दिया सभी पीजी स्टूडेंट के लिए सभी पीजी स्टूडेंट के लिए अभी आई थिंक फ्रॉम लास्ट ईयर यूजी के लिए भी मैंडेटरी कर दिया गया so like that some courses you can make it mandatory not all the courses some courses you can make it mandatory for everybody those courses could be non credit courses also it it depends aap credit course rakh sakte ho ya non credit course kar sakte ho it depends on you okay and as far as value addition courses is concerned value addition ka to specifically kal maine aapko bataya tha ki value addition wohi courses kehlayenge ki jinko matlab wo course karne course karne ke baad student को कुछ वैल्यू एडिशन हुआ है उनके पर्सनालिटी में कुछ मुनाफा हुआ है अगर ये नहीं होता तो वैल्यू एडिशन कोर्सेस नहीं होंगे इसलिए भले ही नैक ना पूछे लेकिन मुझे मुझे ये कहना है कि आपको ये देखना पड़ेगा कि आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दैट कोर्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस आई हैव नोटिस इन माई स्टूडेंट अगर वो कोर्स करने के पहले और बाद में मेरे स्टूडेंट में कोई बदलाव ही नहीं है तो वो कोर्स किस क्या किस काम के सो वी नीड टू थिंक ऑफ दैट काइंड ऑफ वैल्यू एडिशन कोर्सेस एंड उसका ड्यूरेशन जो है नैक के हिसाब से थर्टी कॉन्टेक्ट होना चाहिए फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट भी वही, वही कह रहा हूं मैं कि जो फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट मान लो करिकुलम में नहीं है करिकुलम में है तो इज वंडरफुल आई मीन इज वंडरफुल अगर नहीं है तो यू कैन इनिशिएट एट योर ओन आपके करिकुलम में नहीं है फाइन आप कॉलेज लेवल पे भी आप फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट आप इनिशिएट कर सकते हो एंड देन यू कैन मैं यू कैन टेक अ रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ योर लोकल मैनेजमेंट कमिटी दैट इज सिंस इट वॉज नॉट देर इन द यूनिवर्सिटी करिकुलम वी स्टार्टेड इम्प्लीमेंटिंग इट वी यू शुड हैव द प्रॉपर रिकॉर्ड ऑफ दैट वट एवर यू आर डूइंग यू शुड हैव प्रॉपर रिकॉर्ड and then feedback ye this is very very important you can feedback aapko ye 500 word mein bhi likhna hai ki feedback mein sabse important ye hai ki how genuine you are how sincere you are how honest you are in collection of feedback ki outcome based education feedback pe hi jyada depend karta hai main abhi do teen slide ki baat mein wo bhi ka concept mein aapko bataunga uski philosophy hai main aapko batana chahunga ki yahan par aapko dekhna padega ki whether you have collected feedback abhi parents ka jo hai anak ne abhi hata diya gaya so you need you need not bother about parent feedback you need to collect the feedback from four stakeholders only student teachers employers and alumni aap online feedback lijiye uska ek software banayi hai aap simple excel mein bhi software bana sakte ho zarur nahi ki aap bahut high pay software chahiye usko aap analyze kariye department committee mein uska action taken aap analysis aap rakhiye discussion kariye action taken banaiye and then you implement those action taken so that need to be whatever you will be doing that you can mention here in a finite words and then teaching learning evaluation demand ratio fir se main bataunga ki demand ratio agar badhana hai kyunki bahut sare kal bhi ek sawal aaya tha ki hamare paas jo hai teachers kam hai student aa nahi rahe class mein aajkal 
हमारा कॉलेज रूरल एरिया का है माई फ्रेंड येस आई नो ऑल दो प्रॉब्लम आर गोइंग टू बी देर सब तरफ प्रॉब्लम है ऐसा नहीं की रूरल एरिया में प्रॉब्लम है मेट्रोपोलिटन बॉम्बे में भी प्रॉब्लम है दिल्ली में भी प्रॉब्लम ईच इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज इज ओन प्रॉब्लम बट वी नीड टू सी हाउ दो प्रॉब्लम कैन बी टैकल्ड आउट राइट वी हाउ वी नीड टू सी हाउ दो प्रॉब्लम कैन बी एड्रेस एट यूर रिस्पेक्टिव लेवल तो आपको अगर सही मायनों में डिमांड रेशियो अगर करना है तो रोना नहीं चाहिए मैं मैं फिर से बता रहा हूँ कि करिकुलम पे करिकुलम आपके हाथ में नहीं है आप कॉलेज में हो आप रो रहे हो यूनिवर्सिटी में करिकुलम अच्छा नहीं है इसलिए डिमांड रेशियो अच्छा नहीं है नो वॉट यू कैन डू इज आपका फिर से मैं रिपीट करना करूंगा यहाँ पर कि करिकुलम आपको लगता है करिकुलम अच्छा नहीं है फाइन आप कॉलेज में हो आपके हाथ में क्या है टीचिंग लर्निंग एंड इवेल्व टीचिंग लर्निंग टीचिंग लर्निंग आप आप उसको इफेक्टिव बनाइए यू कैन अट्रैक्ट द स्टूडेंट If you are in the university, मैं कहता हूं कि इसको आपको बड़े सिस्टमेटिकली करना पड़ेगा कि आपको ईच एंड एवरी डिपार्टमेंट नीड टू सी लाइक वट आर दिस टाइम ओके आप आपका स्ट्रेंथ क्या है देखिए इन टर्म्स ऑफ टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ करिकुलम इन टर्म्स ऑफ फैकल्टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिसर्च आपका स्ट्रेंथ देखिए आपका एक ब्रॉशर बनाइए ब्रॉशर को पूरे कंट्री लेवल पे उसको पब्लिसाइड पब्लिसिटी दीजिए एंड देन यू कैन ऑर्गेनाइज दो इंटरनल आई मीन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट Not forget about sometimes what happens. आपको शायद आपके सिटी के बाहर एंट्रेंस टेस्ट शायद ऑर्गेनाइज करना पॉसिबल नहीं होगा फाइन एटलीस्ट यू कैन कॉम्युनिकेट यू कैन सर्कुलेट यूर ब्रॉशर सो दैट यू कैन हैव लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट आउट साइड द स्टेट एज वेल सो दैट एंड देन इवन विद इन द स्टेट क्योंकि देखिए मैंने कल भी आपको बताया था कि ये दुकानदारी टाइप रखना चाहिए बिकॉज आपको ये अभी अभी ये देखना चाहिए कि हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सेल यूर डिग्री आपको ऐसा नहीं कि भाई मैंने खाली ओपन कर दिया दुकान ओपन कर दिया अभी गिराई का आएगा नहीं आएगा नो कस्टमर हैज टू बी हैव टू बी अट्रैक्टेड आपको अपने कस्टमर को अट्रैक्ट करना पड़ेगा स्टूडेंट्स आपके कस्टमर रहेंगे पेरेंट आपके कस्टमर रहेंगे आपके प्रोडक्ट से आपके प्रोग्राम स्टूडेंट भी आपके प्रोडक्ट है लेकिन आप प्रोग्राम सेल करेंगे तो स्टूडेंट आपके कस्टमर है आपको सेल करना पड़ेगा आपको अट्रैक्टिव मॉडल्स तैयार करने पड़ेंगे सो दैट योर डिमांड रेशियो कैन बी इंक्रीज तो डेटा बनाने के पीछे आपको क्या करना चाहिए ये मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ एंड देन स्टूडेंट फुल टाइम टीचर रेशियो फुल टाइम ये यहाँ पर भी एक प्रॉब्लम ऐसा है कि जब आप स्टूडेंट टीचर फुल टाइम टीचर का रेशियो आप देखोगे तब कभी कभी ऐसा होता है आजकल बिकॉज ऑफ वन आर अदर रीजन इन मेनी इंस्टीट्यूशन कॉलेजेस हो या यूनिवर्सिटीज हो वहां पर रिक्रूटमेंट सही हो नहीं रहा मतलब इफ देर आर फिफ्टी पोजिशन हार्डली टेन टू फिफ्टीन पोजिशन आर फिल्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द पोजिशन आर वैकेंट लेकिन आपको मैं बताऊं कि आजकल कॉन्टेक्चुअल अपॉइंटमेंट आजकल हो रहे हैं कॉन्टेक्चुअल अपॉइंटमेंट आइर एट गवर्नमेंट लेवल और एट इंस्टीट्यूशन लेवल दे आर कंसिडर्ड एज ए फुल टाइम टीचर्स नाइक ने कहीं भी परमानेंट टीचर नहीं पूछा फुल टाइम टीचर पूछा है पूछा है सो ऑल दो यूर यूर परमानेंट टीचर्स एंड दो आर कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल बोथ ऑफ देम कैन बी क्लब टूगेदर एंड दे बिकम यूर फुल टाइम टीचर उसका आप रेशो लीजिए सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू डिफेंड यूर केस मोर कंप्रेंसिवली देन आगे है परसेंटेज ऑफ टीचर यूजिंग आईसीटी यहाँ पर भी बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है जैसे मैंने आपको कल बताया कि यहाँ पर डेटा आप देखिए डेटा तैयार करने के लिए तो मैं कुछ भी कर सकता हूँ मैं कह सकता हूँ कि यस माई एम हंड्रेड टीचर्स ऑल हंड्रेड टीचर्स आर यूजिंग आईसीटी फाइन नैक के देने के लिए ठीक है मार्क्स भी अच्छे मिलेंगे ग्रेड भी अच्छा मिलेगा लेकिन थोड़ा हमें सोचना पड़ेगा ना कि हम हम क्या कर रहे हैं राइट right? हम कहीं नौकरी तो नहीं कर रहे हैं तो हमें देखना पड़ेगा कि स्टूडेंट के साथ में हम धोखाधड़ी तो कर नहीं सकते तो इसीलिए हमें इंश्योर करना पड़ेगा अवेयर करना पड़ेगा टीचर्स को इट्स नॉट ओनली अवेयरनेस बाई सबसे पहले एज ए इंस्टीट्यूशन अगर यहाँ पर प्रिंसिपल कोई है तो उनको मैं बताऊंगा कि भाई आप पहले फैसिलिटी क्रिएट करिए आईसीटी फैसिलिटीज एंड देन यू एनकरेज योर टीचर्स टू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस फैसिलिटीज इट मेक इट मैंडेटरी फॉर एवरीबडी टू यूज आईसीटी फैसिलिटीज फॉर टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस आप अगर मैंडेटरी करेंगे तो ये डेटा आप सही मायनों में भर पाओगे मैं मैं देखिए फिर से बता रहा हूँ कि डेटा भरने के लिए नहीं बता रहा हूँ मैं मैं चाहता हूँ कि ये करते समय आपको एक आदत लगे क्योंकि एक आदत लगनी चाहिए क्योंकि कैसे है देखो नैक हमें क्या सिखाता है नैक हमें एक आदत लगाता है कि क्या अच्छे काम करने की आदत लगनी चाहिए अगर आप अगर झूठा डेटा अगर बताएंगे भरेंगे हम तो वही आदत लगेगी इसलिए मैं माय अर्नेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल द इंस्टीट्यूशन वुड बी डोंट क्रिएट एनी फॉल्स डेटा यू बी ऑनेस्ट वॉट एवर जो डेटा है वो दे दीजिए एक साल अगर एक, एक, एक साइकिल में अगर डेटा आपका अगर नैक कम ग्रेड कम आता है ना तो बी हैप्पी विद दैट क्योंकि वो रियल असेसमेंट होगा आपका फॉल्स असेसमेंट कुछ काम नहीं क्योंकि आजकल कल मैंने एक चैलेंज ये भी बताया था कि हमारा जो ग्रेड है पब्लिक परसेप्शन भी मैटर uh, करता है ना क्योंकि लोगों को तो पता है न
स्टूडेंट मेंटरिंग स्कीम अवेलेबल इन इंस्टीट्यूशन आपको हंड्रेड वर्ड में लिखना है मैं कल बताया था आपको स्टूडेंट मेंटर स्कीम रियल मायने में होनी चाहिए क्योंकि हम फिर से वहां पर बोलते बोल कि जो शिक्षक जो टीचर पढ़ा रहा है उसी के पास हमको स्टूडेंट अलॉट कर देते यू शुड हैव ए वेरी स्ट्रक्चर मैकेनिज्म फॉर दिस एज वेल तो आप, आपने क्या करना है फिर से मैं रिपीट करता हूँ कल मैंने बताया था लेकिन फिर से रिपीट करता हूँ कि आपको ये करना है कि मान लो आपके पास हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट है दस टीचर है दस दस टीचर स्टूडेंट आप दस दस टीचर में आप बांट दीजिए टेन मल्टीवाइव टेन हंड्रेड एंड देन आस टीचर्स टू हैव मीटिंग वन मीटिंग इन वन फोर्थ नाइट एटलीस्ट एक महीने में नहीं पंद्रह दिन में आप एक मीटिंग होनी चाहिए एंड अगेन वो मीटिंग फॉर्मेलिटी नहीं होनी चाहिए आप जेन्यूनली वो मीटिंग कंडक्ट करनी चाहिए आपने जेन्यूनली बच्चों के प्रॉब्लम इश्यूज एकेडमिक इश्यूज एंड नॉन एकेडमिक इश्यूज एज वेल बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि एकेडमिक इश्यूज जो टीचर उनको पढ़ा रहे हैं उसके पास वो उन्हीं के प्रॉब्लम नहीं बताएंगे इफ यू आर मेंटर वो आपके पास आएंगे आपको मेंटर है ना यू आर जस्ट लाइक ए पेरेंट पेरेंटिंग करनी चाहिए बच्चों की पेरेंटिंग करनी चाहिए वो पेरेंटिंग अगर हम कर पाए तो डेफिनेटली ये मेंटर मेंटी स्कीम जो है ना बेटर हम कर सकते तो आप वो रिकॉर्ड आप देखिए कि मीटिंग नोटिफिकेशन मीटिंग का एजेंडा मीटिंग के मिनिट्स एंड देन रिजोल्यूशन जो है वो आप आपके हेड को कम्युनिकेट कर रहे हो एंड देन हेड इज इम्प्लीमेंटिंग ऑल दो नो सीरीज आर डॉक्यूमेंट नीड टू बी प्रिपेयर एंड दैट दैट एंटायर सिस्टम नीड टू बी मेंशन हियर इन विद इन द फाइनल रिपोर्ट The teacher profile and quality, number of full-time teachers appointed during this year. Here, so whatever is, that data you have to give. Honors and recognition received by the teachers. Here, it is also the same that whatever honors you have, you have to give. Here, see, but what is it? Received award, recognition, fellowship at state, national, international level from government recognized body. Today, you will know that there are many institutions. You will get a letter saying that your academic contribution has been Uh, is being honored and आपको पांच हजार रुपए देना है और आपको सर्टिफिकेशन मिलेगा सो डोंट गो फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ अवार्ड सो देर आर देर आर सम वेरी स्ट्रक्चर्ड स्टेट नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल लेवल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो गवर्नमेंट की हो और नॉन गवर्नमेंट की भी हो सकते हैं लेकिन उन्हीं के अवार्ड से अगर रहे तो आप यहाँ पर लिखिए एंड देन इवेल्यूशन प्रोसेस हाँ तो इवेल्यूशन प्रोसेस में वो अटेंडमेंट का मैं बाद में बताऊंगा नंबर ऑफ डेज फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ सेमिस्टर इन एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि एक एक समय था हमें आपको भी पता है जब आप खुद स्टूडेंट हो गए आपको पता है पता है कि दो दो तीन तीन महीने रिजल्ट के लिए लगते थे बट नाउ नैक की वजह से एवरीथिंग हैज चेंज ड्रास्टिकली अभी मोस्ट इन मोस्ट ऑफ द कॉलेजेस फिफ्टीन डेज ट्वेंटी डेज एट द मोस्ट वन मंथ टूली स्पीकिंग दस या पंद्रह दिन में रिजल्ट लगना चाहिए so that you have to mention then reforms initiated in uh, on continuous internal evaluation kal jaise maine bataya tha aapko ki aapka jo semester end examination hoga wahan par aap reforms nahi kar sakte as far as if you are working in college even if you are working in university at your both uh, i mean at department level you uh, you cannot initiate a reform But as far as the continuous internal assessment is concerned, evaluations concerned, CIE is concerned, you can you can have a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, reforms. जैसे कल मैंने आपको कुछ बताया तो highlight में खाली बताऊंगा कल already मैंने बताया था. So what you can do? University का pattern है दस दस के दो test करना है, बीस बीस के दो test करना है, उसके average लेना है, twenty marks आपको देने हैं. Out of out of hundred, twenty percent internal evaluation है. Fine. आप क्या करो? उसको twenty को convert करो पहले hundred में. and then how the different activities is it up up seminar low project low presentation low quiz low uh, interaction low the, you can have many activities right and then you can have the co uh, participative teaching as well and then club those mass together and convert it to 20 and submit it to the university okay that kind of reforms you can do and every year you need to keep on changing then academic calendar prepare and adhere the uh, adhere for conduct of examination and other related matter ye aapko 250 word mein dena hai ki aapka academic calendar hai and jo examination jo hai uske jo code of conduct hai usko follow karta hai uska pura correlations aap kaisa karte ho process kya hai academic calendar uh, banane ki process kya hai uh, examination uh, conduct of examination ki process kya hai how you are correlating that need to be mentioned within 250 words स्टूडेंट परफॉर्मेंस एंड लर्निंग आउटकम्स यहां पर मैं आपको दो तीन स्लाइड के बाद में बताऊंगा स्टूडेंट आउटकम प्रोग्राम सॉरी प्रोग्राम आउटकम प्रोग्राम स्पेसिफिक आउटकम आई मीन पीओ पी एस ओज कोर्स आउटकम ये सब आपने किया क्या आपके वेबसाइट में है क्या एंड आप, आपके सिलेबस में है क्या वेबसाइट में आपने अपलोड किया है क्या सी नाउ इफ यू आर फ्रॉम कॉलेज एंड इफ इट इज नॉट देर इन द यूनिवर्सिटी यू विल बी हैंडी कैप्ड राइट तो मैंने कल बताया आपको कि ऑल दो इट इज नॉट देर यू कैन डू यू कैन एड दो कॉम्पोनेंट इन द करिकुलम एट यूर लेवल एंड वेन एवर टीम इज गोइंग टू कम वेन एवर टीम इज गोइंग टू कम आप उनको बताइए कि भाई 
वी आर एफिलेटिंग एफिलेटेड कॉलेजेस ये हमारे जो यूनिवर्सिटी का जो सिलेबस है उसमें ये नहीं है क्योंकि ज्यादातर यूनिवर्सिटी में आउटकम बेस्ड एजुकेशन नहीं है ज्यादातर यूनिवर्सिटीज में तो इवन यूनिवर्सिटीज में भी प्रॉब्लम्स हैं तो आप अगर कॉलेज के हो तो आप कॉलेज में आपके लेवल पे इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हो कैसे करना है मैं आपको बताऊंगा देन पासिंग परसेंटेज एंड स्टूडेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन सर्वे ये तो बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है जैसे मैंने बताया कि सिक्सटी यूजी कॉलेज को है यूजी पीजी कॉलेज को फिफ्टी परसेंट अटोनॉमस कॉलेज को थर्टी परसेंट For university, this is very important. Forget about this percentage. Yeah, thirty percent, no, not thirty percent. Thirty marks, thirty marks for university, fifty marks for uh, autonomous college, and sixty marks, sixty marks for uh, UG PG college. So three percent, five percent, and six percent. Yeah, percentage, show me. You will say that okay, three percent is, five is, six is. What will be the difference? No. Like I have told you yesterday, that the student's response, the student's response, when he gets the answer, there are some questions. कुछ क्वेरी जो है नैक पे टीम के मेंबर के पास भी थमा देते हैं एंड देन वेन एवर नैक पे टीम इज गोइंग टू कम दे आर गोइंग टू क्रॉस वेरी बाय देयर ओके नथिंग नथिंग रॉन्ग यू सी लाइक इट इज इट इज द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी नैक पे टीम की रिस्पांसिबिलिटी है कि आपके पास जो अच्छा चल रहा है उसको आइडेंटिफाई करें आपको बढ़ावा दे जो प्रॉब्लम्स है वो आपको बताकर आपको एनकरेज करें दिस इज व्हाट द रोल ऑफ नैक पे टीम इज एंड दे विल बी डूइंग दैट ओके सो लेट मी बिफोर आई गो टू क्राइटेरिया थ्री आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू आउटकम बेस्ट एजुकेशन बिकॉज वो जो क्राइटेरिया टू का जो आउटकम बेस्ट एजुकेशन का जो इश्यू है क्राइटेरिया वन और टू में दैट आई वुड सी आई थिंक लाइक आई शुड इंट्रोड्यूस यू सो वट इज आउटकम बेस्ट एजुकेशन इट इज बेसिकली कंटिन्यूस क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट आउटकम बेस्ट एजुकेशन इज नथिंग बट अ कंटिन्यूस क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट वट इज इट तो से वॉट यू डू मतलब आप जो करना चाहते हैं वही बोलो डू वॉट यू से जो बोलते हो वही करो देन उसको करके बताओ एंड इम्प्रूव इट ओके सो से वॉट यू डू डू वॉट यू से प्रो इट एंड इम्प्रूव इट दिस इज अलोज लूप ओके दैट इज वेरी कॉल इज कंटिन्यूस क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट स्कीम ओके नाउ इट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ फोर डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट वन इज आउटकम बेस्ड एजुकेशन दैट इज वॉट द आई मीन दिस दिस टॉक्स अबाउट द a student attributes like what student will be able to do after completion of after completion of this course then uh, in obe you need to have the outcome based curricula curriculum so accordingly based on your program outcome based on your you know pso pos and psos will come here and based on this pos and pso you will be writing the content you will be preparing curriculum right so this curriculum will uh i mean in this curriculum you will be writing cos of your respective courses i mean cos means what you want your student to do after complete completion of that course right and then once their course is uh, you know curriculum is ready next is outcome based learning teaching learning teaching means what kind of teaching pedagogy you are going to implement to implement the outcome based education and it's not only teaching learning pedagogy is assessment also assessment need to be outcome based uh, assessment so this consisting of this four different component is talked about ob talks about pos psos ob uh, obc talks about the content and cos uh, oblt talks about the 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 teaching learning pedagogy which we are going to uh, adopt for implementation and oba stands for the assessment outcome based assessment and this is the framework you can see in framework as i mentioned earlier feedback is going to play very important role you know before you start your feedback you need to have that is why i said your feedback process need to be very very comprehensive and you you should be very genuine institution your institution should be very genuine you should be very genuine people Uh, in collecting your feedback so feedback you collect feedback from all stakeholders okay based on your feedback you will you will be forming outcomes okay so outcome as per as the institutions concern at institution level you will be framing vision mission of course vision mission cannot be changed every year that i know vision need to be uh, like once you finalize vision it may take like almost 10 20 years like you vision means what you want where you want to see your institution up to 20 years this is what the vision is going to be and then as far as mission is concerned whatever vision you have planned what, wherever you want to see your institution how you are going to do that how you are going to the, the way in which you will be reaching the pathways to reach your vision is going to be mission so vision mission is going to be fixed but on the basis of that on the basis of the feedback what you are going to do you can write program educational objectives like whatever programs you have whatever total programs you have you need to write the program educational objectives Okay, and once you have the program educational objectives, you need to write 
the pos and uh, program outcomes and program specific outcome like you know like program education objectives i would say like if if i am running the university i would be having common program education because it varies from you know iske bhi alag alag concept hai ek tarika main aapko batata hu ki jaise ek tarika is jayenge let us say if i am running university i am head of the university what i am going to do for all the pg program i am going to have common pos common program education objectives right and then for msc i am going to have one pos program outcome for msc program okay and then in msc again i am going to have msc physics msc chemistry msc botany then there would be pso for msc physics pso for msc chemistry and so on so forth so here you are going to write your student outcome because program outcome and program specific outcome tells you what where you want to see your student after completion of that program and then after that you will be having courses learning outcome i mean like based on this pos and psos you will be framing the titles like you, you you are going to start from pos program educational objectives then you will have the program outcome program specific outcome and then based on pos and pso what you are going to do you are going to find out the titles of the various courses how many courses you want what should be you know uh, you can you can see like what would be percentage of those courses right once the titles are finalized then you can think of uh, those individual courses like uh, let us say for example one of the courses could be embedded system right so embedded system like what what kind of you know where i want my student to uh, to uh, what 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 whatever what what i am expecting from my student after completion of that course okay so that need to be written in the outcome form that will be course outcome and depending on course outcome i will be writing syllabus right actual syllabus here active syllabus the teaching methodology teaching methods need to be planned learning activities need to be planned assessment tools need to be planned right in the beginning once it is done when the delivery is done planning is done but planning and delivery is done then uh, here comes the assessment so once the entire curriculum has been taught then you will be doing the course assessment the here the course attainment is going to come the picture i am going to tell you so first of all you will be doing course attainment then program attainment and then institutional as as uh, attainment so like here we are referring in assessment right so course assessment program assessment and uh, institutional assessment on the basis of that whenever you are doing assessment you are going to compare yourself with some targeted level okay i am going to tell you i am going to tell, i have quoted one example in uh, coming slide so first of all there there will be some target level and based on that what you are going to see then you are going to compare this target level with the level that we have achieved and then you will be comparing if you if you are reach the target level it means you don't need any correction if you could not do that then obviously you need to have the improvement model what kind of improvement you need to do so that improvement model need to be here and then again you need to start so this is a closed loop as i mentioned this is a closed loop this is what the uh, outcome based education all together vision mission there would be peos program outcome program specific outcome and then course outcome course 1 2 3 this will be this will refer to the graduate attributes and then obviously whenever you are writing course outcome whenever you are preparing you know pos cos and uh, psos you need to follow bloom taxonomy what is bloom taxonomy this is not a ek dekhi usse dar bilkul darna nahi what is bloom taxonomy it talks about the student attributes it talks about what student need to understand you can see students should have the remembering capacity students should have the understanding capacity student must be able to apply his knowledge student must be able to analyze he should have evaluating capacity and he should be creative all this domain all this aspect need to be there in your course and that is why whenever you are writing course outcome you need to refer bloom taxonomy and this is just an example i'm i'm, I'm going to quote here program outcome example A program outcome are narrow statement program educational objectives will be a little bit broader statement but program outcomes are going to be narrow statement that describe what students are expected to know and will be able to do by the time of graduation matlab jab wo graduate honge whenever they will be graduating what they are expected to know what they will be able to do after completion of that so that need to be there that need to be reflected in pos and as per as psos are concerned psos are also narrow statement but what what pso uh, describe it describe the knowledge and ability the graduate will have in the specific domain okay so let us say msc physics so what kind of knowledge what kind of ability student is going to achieve so student is going to acquire upper in the domain of physics okay in that specific domain that is why it is called a program specific outcome 
and there are some guidelines for COs. A COs course outcome should be student focused. It should be aligned with course program and institutional uh, objectives. Okay, uh, focus on abilities of the central discipline, central to the discipline. Uh, you should focus on aspect of learning. They are limited to manageable number because you cannot have the 15, 16, uh, you know, like uh, course outcome. And uh, it should be specific enough to measure. It should be specific enough to be measurable. I mean, whenever you are writing program or course outcome, those course outcome need to be measurable. The outcome which cannot be measured should not be uh, can never be considered as a course outcome. Therefore, it should be measurable, and we should follow Bloom's, Bloom's taxonomy. And this is one example I can quote here. Uh, as, as we are running Bihog and Yamok program in industrial automation and automotive technology in the university department, I thought I, I, sh I, I should put you one example. You can see the program outcome of Bihog industrial automation. Now, since this is a band like uh, somewhat closer to engineering discipline program, you can see what are the program outcomes. There are seven program outcomes. You can see this is the standard, you know, Bloom, as per Bloom's taxonomy. You can see engineer and society means the, the student after completion of this program, student should assess the societal problem, health issues, safety issues, legal issues, all those issues, right? Students should able to understand environment and sustainability related issues. Ethics, students should be able to understand the ethical principle, commitment, professional ethics. Individual and team, student must be able to work as individual and team as well. Teamwork, he need to understand how to work in the team. Communication, he, he should have those communication skills after completion of this program. Project management and finance, he must be able to manage the project. Like for example, some project is need to be initiated, he must be able to create the project, he must be able to create some kind of financial aspect of this project. And most importantly, whatever he is earning, he should be able to engage himself throughout his life, lifelong learning. So these are the seven attributes of program outcome. And then PSOs, this would be very specific, like basic, the first PSO could be basic knowledge, basic knowledge of the course which you are teaching, Discipline knowledge and problem analysis of the course, like for example, industrial automation, design and development related to the industrial automation, conduct and in, uh, conduct investigation and complex problem. He must be able to conduct investigation and resolve the complex problems. He should be able to uh, use the modern tools. So these are the five different PSOs. So I am going to have seven PSO, POs and five PSOs. And then as far as the course outcomes are concerned, I can quote one example. Let us say I have got one course, which uh, the title is PLC Best Automation, right? So title of the course is PLC Best Automation. So on completion of course, student will be able to do what you can see. There are only five. What are those? Student will be able to explain various inbuilt timers, explain various inbuilt counters, discuss timer counters. So these are some of the terminology which I have procured from Bloom Taxonomy. Explain, discuss, formulate, design. So these are the you know terminologies we need to consider from Bloom Taxonomy. Formulate application-based ladder logic, design and need integrate Allen Bradley PLCs and so on and so forth. So these are the six five five course outcomes of my one particular course. Now let us move. So once you have the POs, once you have PSO, once you have COs, then you will be having content, right? Once you have the content, you need to do the mapping of COs and POs and PSOs. Mapping of COs with POs and PSOs. Mapping ka matlab ye hai ki jo course outcome aapne dekhe hai, those course outcome need to be aligned with your POs and PSOs. To aapko ye matrix banana hai aur tick mark karna hai. Aapka jo course hai, sabhi POs aur PSO ko al align nahi ho karega. Obviously nahi karega. Aap dekhe ki mera jo VOC 411 course hai, out of 7 POs, only two, I am I am going to touch upon only two, two POs. And as far as far as PSOs are concerned, I'm going to touch upon four PSOs. So you need not touch upon all. But aapka, aapke jo course outcome hai, kahi na kahi to cross hona chahiye. Ek bhi cross nahi hoga, iska matlab something is wrong with your course outcome. This is how the mapping need to be done. Now I'm going to tell you how it is to be attained. Attainment level kaisi check karna hai. Now before you understand attainment level, you need to understand formative and uh, assessment methodology. So it depends on, the, it varies from university to university. In my university, we are having 80-20 pattern. So 80-20 is formative assessment, continuous internal assessment, 20% hai, and 80% is summative assessment at the semester and examination. Okay, and then, now let us uh, talk about the course outcome attainment. Course outcome ki attainment kaise karte. Now it is required to define target attainment level for each course. Dekhi, aapke jitne bhi course hai, jase ki Bihok Industrial Automation, mein paas 15 course hai. So, her course ka attainment level alagalakos. Target level jo target attainment level alagalakosakai. 
टूली स्पीकिंग अटेनमेंट लेवल क्या होगा अटेनमेंट लेवल ये होगा कि मेरे स्टूडेंट कहा पहुंच सकते मतलब क्लास एज ए होल राइट तो ये हम पिछले तीन साल का रिकॉर्ड देखकर भी अटेनमेंट लेवल हम डिसाइड कर सकते हैं पिछले तीन साल में इस सब्जेक्ट में स्टूडेंट का परफॉर्मेंस कैसे रहा ऑन द बेस ऑफ दैट ऑल्सो टारगेट लेवल कैन बी आई मीन डिसाइडेड लेट से इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू हैव द लेवल टू वट इज लेवल टू लेवल टू इज आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट आर गोइंग टू स्कोर मोर देन डिपार्टमेंट एवरेज सो सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स the course which i am going to uh, teach are going to score more than department average this is level 2 okay so what 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 i am going to this is my target so after completion of i am going to calculate the actual attainment level and if i am having some issues if i am not able to attain then i need to prepare i need to have the uh, i need to have some correct to measure to bridge those gap and if i could achieve it then you need you need not bother anything about that now you can see how how to calculate this uh, attainment level now course attainment level you can see here this is one example i have quoted 80% attainment level in the semester end examination 20% uh, internal examination matlab maine kya kar diya jaise pehle bataya maine aapko 80% semester end 20% internal examination now semester end examination internal assessment ke teen level jo maine pehle bataye the aapko level 1 hoga 50% of students score more than a uh, more than class average right 60% students score more than class average that is going to be level 2 and level 3 is going to be 70% of students going to score more than class average ab ye jo 50% 60% ye main change kar sakta hu because it depends on yes a level tino level jo hai alag alag course ke alag alag ho sakte hai ya uniform bhi ho sakte hai aapka department ka ek policy bhi ho sakta ki let us have this all uniform level for all the courses right to iska a level maine consider kiya level 2 i want 60% of my student that i am expecting that my 60% of student are going to score more than class average right to main kaise evaluate karunga let us say for course voc 411 jo maine pehle bataya so let us see the same 63% of the student score more than class average in the semester end examination to mere jitne bhi student hai kitne student hai 63% of the student they have score more than class average okay iska matlab kya hai main maine level 2 attain kiya as per as semester end examinations concern lekin internal mein kya hua If 85% of the students score more than class average, तो मैंने क्या किया इंटरनल में लेवल थ्री अटेंड किया सो एक्सटर्नल में सेमिस्टर एंड में मेरे स्टूडेंट ने लेवल टू अटेंड किया एंड इंटरनल में लेवल थ्री सो वट वुड बी कोर्स अटेंडमेंट यू कैन सी हेयर कोर्स अटेंडमेंट वुड ऑफ दर्स फोर वन मंथ वुड बी एटी परसेंट ऑफ टू क्योंकि यहाँ पर टू लेवल है एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ थ्री क्योंकि एटी परसेंट एक्सटर्नल का है ट्वेंटी परसेंट इंटरनल का है एटी परसेंट ऑफ टू वुड बी वन पॉइंट सिक्स एंड एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ थ्री वुड बी पॉइंट सिक्स इट वुड गोइंग टू बी टू पॉइंट टू 2.2 means level 2 level 2 this was my target it means that i have attained i have fully attained so if my level 2 if target level was level 2 with this i have fully attained if had i my target level been 70% then maine meri target level achieve nahi hui thi so what 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 i would have done is in that case i would have planned for some corrective measure so that that gap could be bridged and i would be able to uh, achieve uh, my level at uh, target level at least in the next uh, semester and then program outcome वैसे ही जैसे कि course attainment level है program outcome attainment भी हमें सोचना पड़ेगा so it is required to define target attainment level for the POs and PSO हमें ये भी करना पड़ेगा कि POs and PSO को individual POs and PSO को हमें attainment देखना पड़ेगा and then uh, you can have the same level जैसे कि course out outcome का मैंने बसर course attainment का बताया वैसे ही program attainment का भी हो सकता है let us say I have identified level I have considered my target level is four what is that greater than 2 and less than 2.5 ye kya hai main next slide pe bataunga aapko to fir se waisa hi hoga aap actual attainment level calculate karoge compare karoge aap attain kare to you will be happy nahi attain kare to aapko kya karna padega kuch corrective measures aapko plan karne padenge now as per as program outcome attainment is concerned there are two methods direct methods and indirect method what is direct method direct method means it is based on only semester end examination and internal matlab aap kali aapka jo semester end and internal hai uske basis pe karte ho to that is direct method indirect kya hoga ki feedback pe okay so what we have done we have considered both 80% hoga mera direct method 20% hoga mera on the basis of feedback okay ab dekhi ye levels ki baat kar raha tha main level 1 would be greater than, greater than 0.5 less than equal to 1.0 लेवल टू होगा ग्रेटर देन वन पॉइंट जीरो लेस देन और इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव लाइक दैट लेवल फोर इज ग्रेटर देन टू पॉइंट जीरो एंड लेस देन इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव लेवल फाइव ये होगा तो मेरा ये टारगेट लेवल है लेवल फोर 
एंड देन वॉट वी वी नीड टू डू पीओ थ्री पीओ थ्री मतलब जैसे कि मेरे कितने पीओज है पीओ मेरे साथ है ईच पीओ का मुझे अटेनमेंट लेवल देखना पड़ेगा तो आई हेयर आई एम कोडिंग पीओ थ्री ओनली तो पीओ थ्री का फिर से वो मैपिंग जो मैंने बताया ना वो मैपिंग 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 मैट्रिक्स वो देखना पड़ेगा कि पीओ थ्री जो है ये दिस इज मैपिंग मैट्रिक्स दिस इज मैपिंग मैट्रिक्स तो मेरा पीओ थ्री जो है किस किस कोर्सेस को अटेंड कर रहा है ये देखिए ये यहाँ पर क्रॉस कर रहा है ऐसे बहुत सारे कोर्सेस होंगे यहाँ पर ओके okay? यहाँ पर किस किस लेवल पे टिक मार्क है राइट लेट इज हो लेट इज अज्यूम दैट Let us assume that I have these courses one, two, three, four, five crossing or having some attend. I mean that touching upon PO three, right? So, what we have to do is PLC based mod, uh, automation. It is that the course attainment two point two is. So, this is what we have to do. We have to average it. So, how we are going to do? And similarly, as far as the twenty percent is concerned, that is feedback uh, obtained from student, alumni, and faculty members. Okay, let us assume that you have obtained those feedback. Feedback. On the point scale of one to three, and you have got the average response of PO three two. Okay, so let us say average response of this feedback from student, alumni, and faculty member average response is two. Okay, so what would be attainment of PO three? Attainment of PO three would be eighty percent of this average of this two point two plus two point four plus one point one point nine. That's the average, and twenty percent of two. Yeah, ये जो two मिला है, right? So eighty percent of this would be one point six. 20% of 2 would be 0.4, so it is going to 2.0. 2.0 मतलब क्या है? 2.05 मतलब क्या है? 2.05 का मतलब ये है कि level 4. So it means that I have my target level was 4 and I have achieved 4. This is fully achieved. So this is how we have to do the course attainment and program attainment. आप मुझे पता है, my friend, because it is not it is not easy to understand this outcome based education in one go. We need to have you know series of workshop to understand this mechanism. But I thought let me give you glimpses of this outcome based education so that you will be able to start. You will be you will be, you will start thinking in that direction. And moreover, if you really want your system to be uh, more you know like robust and more uh, effective, more transparent, then you should have this industry engagement and continuous improvement model in your all you know institution. What is this model is all about? Consult industry and employer. So this is what your feedback is. You take the feedback from all the Uh, stakeholders design the strategies for training and assessment select the suitable resources and trainer for uh, and assessors develop and update the records for continuous improvement register and implement those record evaluate your training and all the processes and again start the uh, entire process so this is what the continuous inter continuous improvement model and then uh, criteria 3 i will be uh, quickly going through because i have it is already 12:30 And uh, I'm going to finish within maybe uh, within 10 to 15 minutes. Ready at three. ये तो data है आप तैयार करके भेजेंगे इसमें मैं ज़्यादा जहाँ पर भी आपको नहीं समझने के जैसा कुछ होगा that that I'm going to explain now. Innovation assist uh, ecosystem. आपको uh, intellectual property के workshop जो भी organize किए वो उसके details यहाँ देने हैं. यहाँ पर क्वालिटी मैट्रिक्स है नहीं शायद यहाँ पर देना नहीं है देन अवार्ड्स आपको जो भी अवार्ड्स आपने जीते हैं वो यहाँ पर मेंशन करना है आपको इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर इफ एट ऑल यू हैव क्रिएटेड इफ इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर है तो स्टार्टअप होंगे उसके डिटेल्स आपको देने हैं यहाँ पर रिसर्च पब्लिकेशन अवार्ड्स आपने जो इंसेंटिव दिए होंगे आपके जो जो टीचर ने द टीचर्स वन द यू नो लाइक नेशनल इंटरनेशनल रिकोगशन उनके लिए आपने क्या इंसेंटिव दिए दैट यू नीड टू मैं इसलिए तो इम्पोर्टेंट है कि आपने इंसेंटिव हर इंस्टीट्यूशन में यू नीड टू गिव सम इंसेंटिव टू द टीचर्स वन और गॉट द इंटरनेशनल इंटरनेशनल रिकोगशन सिमिलरली पी एडी अवार्डेड ड्यूरिंग द ईयर ओके देन रिसर्च पब्लिकेशन यूजीसी वेबसाइट का जो भी लिस्ट है उसके नेशनल इंटरनेशनल पब्लिकेशन आपको देने हैं बुक्स बुक्स का जो भी आपका पब्लिकेशन है वो देना है एंड एज फार एज दिस स्कोपस इज कंसर्न यू आर लिस्ट बॉर्डर क्योंकि नैक जो है ये स्कोपस का डेटा इंप्लीमेंट से ले लेगा आपसे लेगा नहीं आपको कुछ करने की जरूरत नहीं है द डेटा इज गोइंग टू बी कलेक्ट फ्रॉम इंप्लीमेंट एंड देन यू विल बी नैक इज गोइंग टू सेंड द इनपुट फ्रॉम इंप्लीमेंट रिलेटेड यूर इंस्टीट्यूट और आपको खाली क्रॉस यूर पै करके नैक को ये सर नो कहना है एच इंडेक्स वो भी वहीं से लेगा एंड देन फैकल्टी पार्टिसिपेशन इन सेमिनार कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड सिंपोजिया ड्यूरिंग द ईयर एक्सटेंशन एक्टिविटी फिर से मैं बताऊंगा कि एक्सटेंशन एक्टिविटी जब भी आता है तो हम वही टिपिकल एक्सटेंशन एक्टिविटीज का जिक्र करते हैं कि जहां पर एनएसएस के कुछ ब्लड डोनेशन कैंप है एनएसएस के गाँव के साफ सफाई का काम है यू डोंट 
because I have not seen any college or university, very few. I have seen uh, some of the colleges, very few colleges across the country, they, where uh, whatever research outcome you have, whatever academic outcome you have, you are reaching to the society through NSS. So what he, what is expected here, whatever academic and research outcome you have achieved during last academic year, how you are uh, managing yourself to reach to the society, to resolve their issues through NSS or NCC or Red Cross or Youth Red Cross, all these clubs. Okay, that need to mention here. Then awards and recognition received for ex extension activities. Student participation uh, that you need to mention because it's not only organization, it's not only activity. How many students are participating in these activities that need to be uh, properly recorded? Okay, collaboration. Just like I had a question yesterday, collaboration is that you can do a collaborative activity here. That, like, I am, I am, uh, I am sending one sample for uh, FEACM uh, to Kolhapur University, right? Like whenever I am sending sample. The professor is going to send me some data. Okay, so this could be one kind of collaborative activity. But put it on record. Send email. Keep the records. On, okay, have the records of communication and all the communication, both your communication, and that can be considered as a collaborative activity. As far as linkages are concerned, linkages could be for uh, academic institution, for industries, for intensive or on-job training, right? Because you you because all the courses are not going to have internship in industry, right? But Whatever courses you are, you are, you, you will be having in your institutions, or you are having in your institution, which are uh, uh, for which you need internship uh, or on-job training for for those. What kind of you know uh, linkages you have? Linkages means it need not be MOU. Linkages ये है कि एक paper पे आपने लिखा एक 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 छोटा सा agreement है कि जो जिसके uh, as per those uh, as per that agreement, the industry is allowing your student to visit the uh, your your student in their in into their industry for maybe for ten days, twenty days, or maybe for for a period of one month. The MOU, yes, this is very structured uh, document. Like whenever you have memorandum of understanding, so this could be for uh, for uh, uh, MOUs could be with national, international universities, or could be with uh, uh, industries. Okay, for having joint activities like joint organization of conferences, programs, student exchange, fellowships. And so on, so for faculty exchange, all those activities can be mentioned here. As far as criteria four is concerned, this has been this has already been covered by uh, one of the speakers, so I'm not going to uh, uh, spend time here because this has already been covered. Similarly, student support progression, this has also been covered by one of the speakers today, so I'm not going to uh, discuss here. So uh, criteria six: governance, leadership, and management. This is where it is very very important. Mention two practices of decentralization. And participative management during last year. Look, how is it? College. If you are from college, gathering uh, annual gathering could be wonderful example for decentralization and participative management. So, what can you do? Gathering could be one example. There can be many examples. So, you can see gathering. Mein, there are there is one central committee, and then wo overall supervision karti hai. And then under central committee, there are many committees, sub committees, right? So, every committee ka apna jurisdiction hoga, apna dikar chhatra hoga, wo apna kam karegi. And then that they are going to report to the higher committee, and then they are answerable to the head of the institution. So, that kind of analogy, that kind of methodology, you can mention. Or if you are in the university, in the university, me to hajaro example rahenge. Syllabus framing ka example aap de sakte ho ki department mein syllabus framing aap kaise karte ho ki you are going to have the syllabus framing committee. Let's say वाला सिलेबस फ्रेमिंग फ्रेमिंग कमेटी आप मतलब ये जब डॉक्यूमेंटेशन आप करोगे ना तो राइट फ्रॉम नोटिफिकेशन टू मिनिस्टर ऑफ एवरी मीटिंग एंड एक्शन टेकन सबके डॉक्यूमेंटेशन आपको करना पड़ेगा लिखते समय आप लिखोगे कि सिलेबस फ्रेमिंग कमेटी रहेगी they are going to frame the syllabus then that frame syllabus draft is going to be discussed in the faculty meeting first then then again some corrections some suggestions are going to be there then that is going to be discussed in departmental committee then department is going to approve that that is going to send to academic council for approval and once the academic council approves it then of course through bos then it is going to be uh, ready for the, the the implementation so that kind of decentralization and participative management can be mentioned so you can mention two practices it's not one that you have to identify two practices in your institution does the institution of management inform system as i mentioned earlier wo aap dekhiye aur mention kari uh, strategy development deployment quality improvement strategies adopted by the institution for each of the following within 100 words so aap isme dekhiye ki each curriculum development mein kya kya aapne kiya quality initiatives teaching learning examination evaluation research development library ict 
human resource management, industry interaction, collaboration, admission of student, all those, most of the points we have already discussed, ye sabhi point ko aapko 100 words mein likhna hai ki, what kind of quality improvement strategies you adopted during last year. E-governance, mene jise bata hai ki, nowadays, it is going to be very, very important, earning and development, administration, finance and accounts, student admission and, and examination. In every aspect, we need to have e-governance. So, what do you do? You have to write here that what kind of e-governance you are implementing in this. Okay. Faculty empowerment strategies. Faculty empowerment, mein, there are two. One is like you, are, you should provide some kind of financial assistance to your teachers so that they will, they will get, uh, get themselves empowered. Right. So, for those details here, we need to mention. Therefore, institution go whether it is university or college, they need to provide some sort of financial support so that participant can attend, I mean, a teacher can, faculty member can attend those conferences and workshops. Similarly, but it's not only uh, 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 giving the financial assistant. Whether you have organized some sort of programs, faculty development program for your teaching teachers as well as administrative staff. So that need to mention here. And then number of teachers attending profession and development program. Various, like uh, you need to here uh, mention the total number of the teachers who have attended preparation course, orientation course, short term programs, and so on and so forth. Faculty and staff recruitment, Jobi hai, jitna permanent, full time, Jobi hai, wo aapko dena padega hai, but welfare scheme, that is very important. Because there are many colleges, their welfare schemes are only on paper, it's not only colleges, many institutions, their welfare schemes are very, very uh, minimal. Uh, very matlab, almost nahi ke barabar hota hai. So every institution need to ensure that there should have one or other welfare scheme for each and every category like teacher, non-teaching staff, student for everybody so that you will be able to uh, write something. Then institution conduct internal and external financial audit. This is also very important because of course most of the institution may hota hai. Lekin mein aapko bata hun, ki jitne bhi private uh, jo affiliated colleges hai, jindu government ke grant hai, maha to aram se record mil jata hai. So, unko mandatory hota hai, kyunki UGC ka fund hai, unko dena hi hota hai. But those who are self-financed institution, because I have seen, those who are self-financed institution, wo kuch chupa ke rakhte hai. Unki data milna bila muskil hota hai, because I have, I don't want to disclose the names of the institution, but I have seen, there are many institutions, they don't want to disclose the data. Wo bilkul audit hota hi nahi unka. So, they are going to uh, get the less mark. Okay. Then, funds and grants received from management, non-government bodies, individual, philanthropists during the year, not covered from criteria 3. Criteria 3 में जो data हमें मिलता है, जो जो कि जो जो funding हमें बाकी agencies से मिला है, लेकिन ये कौन से ये funding है, जो non-government agencies है, philanthropists है, वहाँ से कितना पैसा आपने collect किया, okay, that need to be mentioned here, and total corpus fund यहाँ generated that need to be mentioned. Internal quality assurance, this is going to play very important role as I mentioned earlier. You have done internal triple A or not. And then you see here, these three points are very important. Activities and support from parent-teacher association. In many colleges, there is no parent-teacher association. Now they started asking us, now they started asking us, that you have to tell us some points about what you have done in your activities under teacher parent teacher association then development program for support staff jo aapke supporting staff hai non teaching staff hai administrative staff unke development program ke liye kam se kam 3 point aap likhiye and post accreditation in this institute mention at least 3 matlab agar aap second assessment ke liye second cycle ke liye ja rahe ho assessment jab aapka hoga accreditation jab hoga nac assessment and accreditation jab hoga tab aapko kuch suggestion diye jayenge uske baad aapne kya kiya so post accreditation in institutes aapke kya hai, to minimum teen aapko likhna hai, if you are going for second or third cycle, if you are going for first cycle, then you need not mention here. And then, ye to data, EISHE, NIRF, EISO ka data dena hai. And then number of quality in institutes undertaken during last, during last academic year, to already maine iske baare mein aapko pehle hi bataya ki, what could be the quality in institutes, those quality in institutes need to mention here. And criteria 7, gender equity ke programs, jo bhi aapne kiye, wo dena hai. Environmental consciousness and sustainability ki jo aapne jo bhi kiya hai uske baare mein aapko likhna hai and then for divangan ke liye jo bhi aapki facilities hai that you need to mention here okay and this is very important this is very very important you can see and least most important initiatives taken to address locational advantage and disadvantage during the year yahan par jyada the college and universities struggle karte hai because you need to see like what kind of locational advantage and disadvantage you are going to have. Now, see, like what can happen? Ajanta Ellora is going to be locational advantage of Aurangabad. 
ओके ये कहीं और नहीं होगा कोल्हापुर में नहीं होगा ओके तो इसके लिए मैंने क्या किया इसके लिए हमने क्या क्या एक्टिविटीज इनिशिएट किए कुछ डिसएडवांटेज होगा जैसे कि सोशली सोशली एंड इकोनॉमिकली बैकवर्ड लोग स्टूडेंट जो है हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी में ज्यादा है सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी यू नो लाइक लोकेशनल डिसएडवांटेज तो वो एड्रेस करने के लिए हमने क्या किया सो व्हाट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट आर द लोकेशनल एडवांटेजेस लोकेशनल डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड अकॉर्डिंगली व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज इंपैक्टफुल एक्टिविटीज वी हैव अंडरटेकन तो ये हर यू नो एकेडमिक ईयर की शुरुआत में आपको करना है एंड उसको एड्रेस करना है एंड देन ह्यूमन वैल्यूज एंड प्रोफेशनल एथिक्स तब कंडक्ट आपने वेरियस स्टेक होल्डर्स के लिखा क्या यू नीड टू हैव कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट फॉर स्टूडेंट टीचर्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर अप टू यूर प्रिंसिपल और वाइस चांसलर सबके लिए होना चाहिए उसका टाइटल डेट ऑफ पब्लिकेशन और उसके मैक्सिमम वर्ड्स कितने वो देना है लिखना है उसके बारे में एंड देन एक्टिविटीज कंडक्टेड फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ यूनिवर्सल वैल्यूज एंड एथिक्स ये तो काफी होता है यूनिवर्सल वैल्यूज एंड एथिक्स के लिए काफी एक्टिविटीज हम थ्रू एन करते हैं सो यू विल हैव यू नो बंच ऑफ लाइक बंडल ऑफ एक्टिविटीज टू बी मैं एक्टिविटीज टेकन बाय द इंस्टीट्यूशन टू मेक कैंपस इको फ्रेंडली दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ डेज बिकॉज यहाँ पर भी थोड़ा मॉकरी टाइप होता है कि ट्रू स्पीक ट्रूली स्पीकिंग इको फ्रेंडली कंसेप्ट क्या है वो समझना पड़ेगा एंड अकॉर्डिंगली हमें इको फ्रेंडली जैसे कि पेपरलेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है प्लास्टिक फ्री कंपस प्लास्टिक फ्री तो हो नहीं सकता प्लास्टिक लेस कैंपस है बाइसिकल राइडिंग है ओके दैट काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी सेविंग है यू नो नॉन कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेज ऑफ यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ नॉन कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी सो दैट काइंड ऑफ यू नो एक्टिविटीज यू नीड टू डू एंड देन इनिशिएटिव्स दैट नीड टू बी इनिशिएटेड एंड दैट टू मेंशन हियर एंड देन बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल डिस्टिंक्टिवनेस जैसे कि कल आप कल मैंने आपको बताया कि बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस आपको जब भी आपको कल भी मैंने रिपीट किया कल भी बताया फिर से आपको थोड़ा आई मीन ब्रीफली रिपीट करता हूँ बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस जब आप देखते हो तो आपको देखना पड़ेगा कि पिछले पिछले पांच साल में क्या क्या एक्टिविटीज आप कर रहे हो राइट तो जहां पर सबसे ज्यादा पार्टिसिपेशन है ज्यादा समय हमने दिया है ज्यादा आउटपुट हमारे पास है ज्यादा यू नो सक्सेस रेट है That need to be considered as a best practice. So, ऐसे दो best practices आपको consider करना है and and most importantly आपकी best practice दूसरे institute के भी best practice हो सकती है लेकिन as far as institutional distinctiveness is concerned, this need to be very very unique. This need to be very very unique. Example के तौर पर मैं बताता हूँ कि जैसे कि हमारे university में दिनदयाल उपाध्याय कौशल केंद्र this is very unique activity being conducted by the university. Uh, only Pune University, but their success rate is not like us. Okay, across the state, there is only Pune University where Dindal Upadhyay Kaushal Kendra is there, but still their success rate is not that uh, like us. So this this is going to be unique, uh, like distinctive feature for us. So that need to be mentioned. And then future plan. आपको खाली यहाँ तक उतना नहीं है. आपने क्या किया? एक साल में क्या किया? अगले साल में आप क्या करोगे? उसका भी future plan आपको 500 words में देना है. And then जस्ट लास्ट स्लाइड आपको बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस का कैसे लिखना है जैसे कि टाइटल ऑफ प्रैक्टिस होगा ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव में व्हाट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव इंटेंडेड आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस जैसे मैंने बताया कॉन्टेक्स्ट में क्या आएगा कि व्हाट व्हाट आर द कॉन्टेक्सुअल फ्यूचर चैलेंजिंग इश्यूज दैट नीडेड टू बी एड्रेस इसलिए आपने किया देन द प्रैक्टिस डिस्क्राइब द प्रैक्टिस इट्स यूनिकनेस इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ इंडिया हायर एजुकेशन दैट इज सम ऑफ द यू नो गाइडलाइन दे हैव गिवन Evidence of success आपको दिखना चाहिए and most importantly if you encounter any problem and if you need some resources additional resources that can also be mentioned and then you can seven seven these note that is going to be optional so this is what I have prepared and the end I would like to uh, end my uh, presentation with these two very beautiful quote of Albert Einstein the first quote is if what you are doing is not working change it ऐसा होता ही नहीं हमारा problem क्या है ना हमें दे, हम लोग यार मैं ये कर रहा हूँ लेकिन रिजल्ट ही नहीं आ रहे अरे बेवकूफ तुझे रिजल्ट नहीं आते चेंज कर देना सो दिस इज लाइक इफ इज नॉट वर्किंग वी नीड टू चेंज इट राइट एंड देन सेकंड इज डूइंग द सेम थिंग ओवर एंड ओवर एंड एक्सपेक्टिंग डिफरेंट रिजल्ट इज इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ इंसेंट कि आप यहाँ पर ये भी हम बार बार दोहराते कि वही करते रहते वही करते रहते हैं रिजल्ट लेकिन हम अलग एक्सपेक्ट करते सो प्लीज माई माई दिस इज माई अर्नेस रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू that you follow albert einstein okay and uh, the last earnest request would be be genuine be honest okay and be committed for preparing the nag data and nag data preparation should not be considered should this exercise should not be considered just for the just for the sake of acquiring good grade rather this activity need to be initiated to create quality culture and once the quality culture is created 
that critical quality culture need to be maintained throughout the throughout the life and at the end of the day we need to make our student happy and if you can make your student happy i'm sure you will be happy